how to express myself through art, how to pass on a message through art. So art really, it depends on how you take it. Some people, they learn something from it. Some people can uh, communicate through art. So I pass on a message through art really. Um, so I'm going to talk about the past of the art department, uh, the present and the future plans that we have. So our department started in 1974 and at first it was known as Jabao High School before it became the Department of Fine Arts. It's one of the oldest departments at the university and there are many uh, famous artists that came from there, right? So our first, I, I think it was our first exhibition, I'm not sure, I stand to be corrected. It was in 1984, but there is a catalogue that is available if a person wants to learn more about that. Because in 1984, most of the artworks that were that are found in that catalog in that catalog are artworks that you can find at the library and some of the buildings around the university. Our most recent one was in 2005. That was it was the first exhibition that was done at DPS Art Gallery, which was which was at first known as the museum. Uh, going through what I've learned uh, on the arts from the past history and and the one from recent uh, exhibition is that they connect through uh, our culture and uh, my perspective is that uh, as an artist we learn uh, our, our, our history through arts so going through the, the library of this university, University of Forte, uh, I saw some amazing works uh, from the past uh, artists, which now we have a exhibition which will be opening tomorrow, which is on the 16th September, uh, uh, which reflects with the, with the other other artworks from the from the history. Basically, what we done uh, was never been done before. Uh, we also collaborated with the music department. Yesterday, we did some strand recording with the music with the student of the music department. Uh, this is my first experience of, of attending the exhibition, and right now I'm currently a curator of this upcoming exhibition. And what I've learned about art in this institution, I'm able to express my, uh, my feelings through art and my emotions, and there's no true de definition of art. In my previous studies, we, did a, we had a module that focused on, on, cura on curatorship. Uh, so what, what, what we were doing was more like a theory. So now I, get the experience, I got the experience to curate this, this exhibition practically, which, which was a great opportunity for me, and I'm grateful for, for such an opportunity because this is where uh, I get to see if uh, I, can, I can make it out there and, and, and be a curator. Uh, my artworks is based on ceramics. It's a sculpture then I'm doing the expression on personal identity. So as, an art, as a student of fine arts at Forte, my work is based on how am I expressing my work based on a personal identity. So I use the ceramics to express myself as an artist. So I'm excited about this exhibition because I'm, explore, I'm exposing myself in the world of art. The exhibition is our first experience and we are glad to exhibit our work. We are working on themes. My theme is titled Death of My Father, Jenny to Love Day. Art is communicating me, it's the way I express how I feel. It's easy for me to express my feelings, more especially on the ceramics, because when I'm depressed, when I'm depressed, I used to go to the studio to work. The first exhibition by students when I arrived was done in 2005 in this same place, in the same space that we are sitting on. And we're actually working on the exhibition that is going to be opening soon, which is actually on the 16th of this month, which is Thursday, this coming Thursday. 
Um, lot of works, really interesting works, uh, exhibited, sculptures, paintings, drawings, photographs. So there's a variation. And from my experience, this is a kind of like, I would call it a rejuvenation and the interaction between the Department of Fine Arts and the DBS Gallery in collaboration with NIAX. So we should actually think as a department, we are so grateful to actually establish this relationship with NIAX and the gallery, as well as the music department. It's a collaborative kind of work that's needed where creativity should actually strive. And just remember or say something about this rejuvenation. I just wanna quote someone, a legend of African Renaissance, if I can call it, Patrice Lumumba. And what he wrote in his book, returning to the source. So in a way, we're trying to return. Actually, we are returning to the source. We have a vision 2030, which to reinstall and rebuild the culture and the heritage of university. So on this art exhibition that is hosted by the third year students, with the best students from the first year, individual one-on-one, -on -one, but the majority is the third year students of fine arts. So we are happy that we are part of the Vision 2030. We are part of the decade of renewal, making the brand vibrant of the Department of Finance. We are making this to be active department. The invisibility that was there, we are making it not to be there anymore. So we are looking forward to have many exhibitions as this department. This is the start of its kind after a decade without a fine art exhibitions. So we are planning to host more exhibitions in Alice Campus, also at East London and Bryan. That's our future plan that is on place now. So on the 16th of September 2021, we will be officially launching our art exhibition at Alice Fine Arts.